Good night. Good night. It's ladies night. Night, everybody. We inside. We are inside. So, topic tonight: Who have more baggage? Right. So we have Abby, Sonali, and Lisa on the inside. You know. So we're gonna be talking about who have more baggage, men or women. Right. Abby have a full list. You know, she's ready to jump out. Lisa, I don't know if she fa- believes men or women have more baggage. She says she's going to be a little quiet tonight. I don't know why. And Sonali, how are you feeling? All right, been busy working whole day. Working whole day is weekend, you know, you're supposed to relax a little bit. Yes. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> I make it sure I relax this. People would. Hmm, hmm. So um, let us ask Lisa because Lisa went and give us a talk tonight. So Lisa, who do you think have more baggage, men or women? Both parties have baggage. Nobody can say they didn't have baggage. No, but who have more? Who you think have more? That is the, that is the question. Who have more? Hmm. I will say well um. Men will have more baggage because they don't come out and say exactly if they have two or three children, they will always have a lie. And we women will come out and say, well, honestly, we have two children or three children with the baggage. And if, if you have to lie the person with the baggage, you have to love the children too. You just tell her like the woman and don't like the baggage she have. Uh-huh. So Lisa, definition, what one thing I- Added baggage are the children. We are not saying we know that some people say children are a blessing, but in some circumstances, um, Abby, <laughs> Abby, what are you saying? Who have more baggage? Good night, Chisan. Good night, Chisan. <laughs> I would say, well. I know when you look at it from the forefront, woman would have because we wouldn't abandon our baggage. We have them right next to our side. But I would say the men have more baggage. Tons and tons of them dragging children behind them. Mm-hmm. And baby mama. Hiding in the bushes. And, and baby, baby mama. mama. Drama. Well, yes. <laughs> and they will never say they have baby mamas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shola, Shola, quiet. I'm not picking a side. Both does carry a lot of baggage. No, but but she make her head, right? The woman is always be honest with the baggage, but the men yeah, he... don't always be honest. It's like so you say, no, yeah, the night. you know. <laughs> think that the women are more honest than the men with their baggage because women actually do have a lot of things that they hide you know like a lot it's a woman who hide and they wouldn't come out with their with their Mm -hmm. baggage the only thing men might be they mightn't talk too much about is yeah maybe their children but there are men who are in the position as women who are the ones have the children right on their side yes it might be in the minority but there are men who are the really the caretakers of their children, the woman gone. And I mean, kudos to those Very men. Rare. Right? Of course. Kudos to those men. All right? So Very people rare, so, him. Yeah. It, I mean the reason being is it have a lot of reasons why it is men may not have the their children at their side. Because it's have women, as we know, they they either spy the man 
right? Let's be real, it's a woman. And some men don't even get to see their children because the woman find, okay, well, he don't want to be with me. Well, you ain't going to see your children, right? To try to hurt the man and that ain't going to work. Okay? It ain't going to work. It have women like that. It has some women don't even know who the child's father is, so you ain't gonna know the man. Yeah, so I mean, right? So people coming out, so now they say she's not choosing any side. Abby and Lisa say men have more baggage. Jason, tell us who you think. Tell us who you think have more baggage men or women, and what, what, what. Why are you saying that whatever your answer is? Right? So, I mean, if it is a don't want to say, well, some might say they have equal amounts of baggage and they come with different baggage. So what other type of baggage do people on a whole come with, both men and women? What other type of baggage do people come with in relationships? That's so much. Besides, you know, children. Exes, family issues, good night, Andy. mental, narcissistic ways, mm-hmm. all, all sorts of, Which all sorts of baggage. <laughs> all sorts. A whole lot of emotional baggage. A whole lot of emotional baggage. Right? And, um, there's so much lies. <laughs> oh, God. You all ask for Shula, eh? And he reads. Woman full of no, she can. <laughs> men. It's the common sense. He lies. And when you get a friend, not the truth with the baggage, they make up a whole set of lie and more. And the All thing right. is, so, we mm-hmm. would get tied up and be part of those baggage. So we add it exactly. to the list when we found exactly. out. Yeah. So what are some of the lies that men yeah. tell? So you all are saying they come in, they come in with some baggage Attention. and they're lying Amen. about the baggage, right? So, what are some of the lies that they come with? What are some of the lies? Mm. So, now laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the lies? One just popped into my head. <laughs> one just popped in. Nah, me and she not together. So we Nali just have to live together. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> we do. Take the floor, so Nali. <laughs> Nah, me and she good. Get oh, we was together. You know which child that is? The, like, nah, I will never treat you so like how your ex treat you. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. Me, excuse me, I've been watching a couple of shows. So, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what are some of the other lies? They I'm don't have no sure. children. All right, they don't have any children. Abby. And when you do call them on the phone, you're hearing, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. That's where it come out in. <laughs> no, but there's somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no, normally, men who maybe take the chance of saying, well, they don't have children. I mean, their children not living with them, right? So, I mean, come on. Lion saying women bring their past relationships it's used into the present. Men and too, I... men too, Sheldon. <laughs> right. So now, when men people bring... have, yeah. You know so what? I think that's, both that's parties may. Men... Act... I think because huh. men, because men can leave their baggage and hide them away. You know, exactly. when they can dump their stuff and turn, turn their head about it. I don't. I wouldn't say that actually bring in their past relationship because they could get rid of it when they feel like it they will come by you not, nice not nice always, they have eh? five six girls on the run but they approach you hmm. and um not they, so, they can always, detach eh, they can detach feelings emotion or i would say they hide it very well and what you know, do you, you think is the reason for that just now so it's not that you know so we're talking about past relationship issues so if it is that sad man who may be able to detach very easily as they say they don't have any that may be going from one woman to the next he's in no feelings it could be that they their past relationships 
the woman was unfaithful, it cheating, and it was like a norm. So they have they developed some trust issues then. The woman are going and stay. Yes, it's have men who experience that. Women, I mean, they, they, yes, the woman was cheating and they I thinking, okay, this is, no, and yes, no. it happens. It's it happens. An, it happens it a lot. It's it a happens a lot. Both sides of the spectrum, the men, Abby, men could be develop trust mm-hmm. issues and then it's at the other yes. end where they just, they just put a different dressing or label on the bag. Mm-hmm. It could be either or. It Fair enough, it but it's a norm for the men to do it. Hence the reason in the black culture, they would have a lot of men <laughs> with a lot of women and kids. You know? I don't know how to but articulate then, it, but continue. and then the next thing it's the woman's responsibility to ensure that she don't end up in a position where it is she have a lot of unwanted children that's the thing right and that's mm-hmm. where now people may say that women are coming with more baggage than the men right they may come but maybe it might have certain aspects where it may be let us say equal but then when it is a woman, she gets into a relationship. That man may not have a child and she decides, well, oh, the man will try. So she make a try for that man. She thinks she really win and settle down with him. Then that man gone for whatever reason. That would right? be her decision to do that? Well, it's her decision to make sure and use some contraceptives. We are not woman. we are not back in quite so quite so we are in the now. So women need to know here what yes, we need to I be prepared. That. But we I need not to we put ourselves it unless we tie down. No, it's have women who plan and they think that when having a child with this the man is going to stay. But no, don't think that you could have children to keep a man. So all the I ladies mean, who that, like to have any long term thing. That don't work no more. It ain't no long time that. thing. That never used to work. It never used to work. And then it used is. to work back then and then it wouldn't work now. When and no, that never happened yeah, long back time. Back in my granny days, it used to work. If you want to hide behind the bushes, the good people thing, then yeah, you'll have to marry. That's back then. My my mom, if any boy look at them in their days, they done talking to parents about getting them connected. Tidy not. That's that used to happen back then, they don't work anymore. Right. But the thing about it is, it has some, if it is the child get pregnant, they take the child, as, as well, the baby, they send the child away, and nobody knows that young lady had a child. They grow up thinking granny is mommy, or auntie is mommy. So, I mean, it all depends on the cult, yeah. Right? The beliefs of the family. Right right but that don't happen no more it have some persons that they may find themselves in that situation depending on their belief system and so forth so andy just said women hide bag their baggage more right and to the baggage will mm-hmm. come stds it's how some persons may hide their sexually transmitted diseases and when you're done it's your skin to catch and that can go both ways male Man or woman hiding, okay, I already have a STD, you know. Right? And then you get it. That is a baggage. I know some people don't put that on their list, but that is definitely a baggage. That people need to speak about. Right? Another thing that some person may feel, okay, remember, it has a lot of different emotional baggage that people come with. Everybody will come with it. Right? It could be because of abuse. It could be, I mean, a lot of different family issues, whatever issues it has in the home that they grew up in, right? It could be past relationship. They come in with, I mean, sometimes people part, they leave a relationship, get into one, and they either comparing you with who they were in a relationship with, um, all these things. Mm-hmm. What's your, how you feel about comparing? Either the ex, or the how you all feel about that? I can't stand that. I don't like it. I, I, I don't like it. Things. I know it happened. They do it. I don't like it because you cannot put me in his. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it. 
All right. I'm a, indiv- so I'm a separate something. individual to your ex. So don't clap as me exactly. in that bracket. Yeah. So it comes with that as well. You may oh, come you oh, may compare in your mind but don't come, come out and say this one and this one used to do that or do so. If it is you're saying to, for me to understand you, sure. You're giving an example. This one used to do that and that I don't like this also. Say that. But don't come out and say, uh, don't compare me at all. I can't stand that. Because that's just like a form of showing favoritism. And I want to trip me. Because I surely as hell don't do that with my partner. Because it would not be fair to them. Yeah, so comparing, I suppose when it comes in a, you know, you're putting the person down. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Like, and the I same, you com- always compare in your mind all the time. Compare in your mind, but don't compare out loud. Don't do that. That is and, a form of favoritism. If it is you want to say what it is you don't like or what it is you maybe like, say that. But don't come here and say this one was better, this or t- mm. the trip people that way. Oh, Lord. That is saying better to have a clean man that treated than a loyal man with an STD. Well, yes. Hell yes. Hmm. I ain't know what to say to that one, yes? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Lion. But I I mean, I see these are really serious baggage for somebody to bring along with them. Especially one that cannot be treated. Right? Um, another thing is that sometimes persons may they may have been married and they get into relationships and you don't even know that person may have been married before or they may have been or they may have been married and they, their partner passed away and they're wondering why it is they moving as certain me some sometimes they could become overprotective and it could be on either side eh? the man or the woman right so i mean we know numerous times today they say here what we need to be we don't want the men to be honest up front right honest up front right but we need to be honest up front as well and the thing about it is even ladies they may have been abused sexually and that is a baggage that they can come with because they have not gotten over that trauma so while it may seem like okay understand that is considered you know emotional baggage load it's a very heavy load to bear and that's why it's really when you think you're going to be serious and you can trust that person you need to get it be not saying that they have to share but it will be considered you know you can't really consider in that person enough and trust in that person enough to share not that the person will use for them to use it against you but they want to be just as we want men to be upfront we need to be upfront as well because if it is a get into the relationship and it comes to the sex, so you might want to know why this lady, you know, you're, you're, you're touching her and she flinching, you know, all these different things. So, and that could affect the man. So he's going to have some emotional baggage because you yeah, really didn't, you hide that away now. So I'll be honest, you say, hmm. the woman shouldn't have to say anything. <laughs> but at some point, at some point, Something needs to be said. I'll be how you looking cute. So proper, you're looking, you. You're looking cute. Yes. Your nose. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. So, I don't know what it is. My he nose. Like how, well, yeah, he likes how you are. Yeah, he has something it. with the nose. I, I'm a bit. I'm a nose. bit. Um, <laughs> I'm a bit. A bit um uneven about lion's comments a while ago what what is mm-hmm. that about right comment comment on it he's saying it's better to have a clean shooting man than a loyal man with an std <laughs> what no the thing about it is if it is for me if the man lawyer he shouldn't be coming <laughs> no STD in the first place right 
I'm just saying, if he loyal, it's in her no STD. Exactly. Right? So unless, I'm... unless mm-hmm. he, unless, unless mm-hmm. one, he bore he, like you know mothers pass on HIV to their children. So I can understand that. Or two, he was the faithful one in the past relationship, and the woman is the one who gave it to him. So I could understand that. That is the only how. But if it, you yeah, can't be loyal and cheating at the same time. Right, no, well, now they have cases where um, they have medication that even if it is the parent has an S- the HIV, right, they don't pass it on to the child. So, if you have women now, they might be a little bit more comfortable getting into relationship with someone who has HIV. Where's this bite it, big brother? Well, who bites in what there? <laughs> oh, but he knows. I am not hmm. going to be satisfied with a cheating clean man and um, be with a STD loyal man, which really don't make no sense. But I would rather prefer to be no, by myself. It... Nobody not All cheating right. on <laughs> this. Now, <Nah>, me? Right. <laughs> Okay. So we're saying, but so this is my question, ladies. When you get into a relationship with a man who has um an S three or who has HIV, let's be more. Let me be more specific. Will you? Why? No. No. If it's not a man's fault, no, you're not giving him a chance. <laughs> No, all right. So, no, ladies, why Sonali, must, why must going to... I have to know how you got it. Let us say it's a, but then I guess if you know how he got it, then he might think about it. Yeah, but then on top of it, I can't pass judgment on you because in this modern time, it has so many ways to be to present and pass and on. So, that would just make me a whole what hypocrite, I guess, but. Then on top of it too, I know myself, I need to know exactly as to how you got it. And then on top of it too, it'll be with a half a mind because one minute, I, you could be telling the truth or you could be lying about how you got it. So I would take that with a half a mind, but I need to know. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. Right. So this come like. Can't. Us. Where you could survive. Right. So let me ask you a question. I'll flip side. So I'm not flip right so let's flip let's flip this script here now for whatever reason you got hiv well you still want to be in a relationship with someone i would want to but yeah. i would still come off well you want somebody to love, love and care right so you might be saying nah i ain't going nobody no hiv or any sd for that matter but then that you end up in that you. sad situation that's right fair. yes it's obviously a choice True. yes it's definitely a choice I might get hurt, so i'm just but asking i might get hurt yeah, yeah okay gonna... there's that i will get hurt if they say nah i know for it then so i'll be like okay all right right and, and i would I, yes I so I would lick my womb and move on with life my life wouldn't stop because you say nah i gave you the choice and option i at least i came out up front let you know bam bam boom is none this is how i got it it's up to you to make the choice now i already let you know how i feel what is the situation you as a human being and as adults need to make the choice if this is what you want to go into if you don't want to i will lick my wounds and keep it pushing Hmm. All right. Nah. Abby. Nah. Nah. Well, if I get it, you to be Uh careless, then my consequence is living the rest of my life alone. Because the Hmm. same way I get it being reckless, I wouldn't want to put somebody else in that same position I am in. You know, like so, I said, everybody's different. Somebody could carry it for 10 years and somebody could die with it in two. And I don't want that on my hands. Okay. You know? So you're saying that you wouldn't um want anybody, you wouldn't want to get no. in a relationship with anyone because... No. 
Okay, that, be, right. that will be the consequence. Good night. Business. Okay. Good night, Arlene. Good night. So, Lion said, hell no, so he's not getting in a relationship with anybody with an STD. Yes. So, I want to. Andy is agreeing agree with Abby. Abby. All right, Andy is yes, uh, agreeing with yeah. Abby. Is he now? Yes. Yeah. He is. Yes, yeah. tonight. Last night. Last night he wasn't in any agreement. He's agreeing. Yes, he's agreeing with you tonight. So, Darlene, tell us, who do you think have more baggage, men or women? So we talk men. any emotional issues. We do. We saying children, um, trust issues, family issues, abuse, um, abuse of substances is a baggage as well. Addictions, yes. because yes, I mean uh, we have to think about that when persons have addiction, and it, it is a serious thing. They put in that addiction in front of themselves, in front of you, in front of everything. Whether it be alcohol, whether it be um, anything with tobacco, it could be anything, whether it's, it could be a sex addict, right? I mean, anything mm -hmm. that person could be addicted to. The, cheating one. mm -hmm. the ones that love to cheat. Okay. It's not a matter of loving to cheat. It's how some people don't really love to cheat. It's just that one person, because it's a woman who has sex addiction. Yes, but are you gonna? So, are you gonna lay that burden on this right? one? And person? because so you the will man. Cheat. One man will not be. Able it would be seen as cheating. Right? It wouldn't be seen as cheating. Why? It wouldn't be because, okay, it come like this, right? It has some, okay, so Darlene is saying both men and women. Right? And children is one. Sex addiction. Hmm, need help. Who need help there? <laughs> Lion, do you need help? Andy, Coke and Viva. Those are his addiction, I guess. What are you saying? Yeah, it's an sex addiction. Need help. It's a lion. Do you need help there? <laughs> like it looks. Like. Do you need help? But Shamika, I have one point again, man. Right. So I mean, addiction. Yes, I'm hearing you. Yeah, because I don't want you to come and steal Go from ahead. me. You know. Well, okay. with whoever had uh, the sex addiction, no, to be right in my back. I'm tired. I need rest. And if I can, if I cannot be at your level, you are free to leave. Close the door behind you and don't come back. Abby, mm. you wouldn't want a guy to blow your back out. Constantly. You probably want the month because I need to work and I need to do stuff. I can't get my back blown out every day of the week. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah. uh -uh. Mm. The poor thing, girl. You ain't no way missing. I don't think I could. I, I don't think I could. Well, I will let you so, all know Lisa when, was... you, when you back blown. <laughs> I will let you know. If I'll be able Lisa to Lisa wanted to say... Lisa wanted to say something there. Lisa, go ahead. Okay, my point of view, point of view with this baggage thing, right? The person could be a carrier and mm -hmm. you, will, you do not know because it's have healthy carriers out there who have a lot of baggages. They could be gay. They will never tell you that baggage. They could be heterosexual. They could, all sorts of things. They will never tell you they have that baggage. They will keep that hidden. But you as a woman... You want to know because you have to know what you're dealing with and this is a lifetime you're going to spend with this person. And if this person comes with sickness, you don't want to spend a lifetime with sickness with him. 
in that relationship if you want a healthy relationship hmm. so just think about Lion it is if in a relationship all right so let's go to darlene's comment she's saying i was abused as a child i became homeless etc i had a lot of baggage when i got married my husband loved me but his family only saw the baggage hmm. darlene i'm really sorry to hear that of course we are very sorry of course but i mean you ain't married to the family and if you and your husband is still going strong amen more years for you all but you didn't marry the family give them the finger I right now the jealous. finger so i understand what happened to in-laws abby i had in-laws issues so i understand where she's uh -huh. coming from where they could only okay. see the baggage i get that hmm. all right um what i will say people if it is someone has been abused whether it's physically sexually emotionally any type of abuse i mean come on it's not the fault of the person right do not see the person as a victim like we need to stop that we really need to and make it seem as if because the person was abused they're going to be all bad and they wouldn't be able to have healthy relationships oh hmm. so she's saying he mentally abused her and left for them hmm. <sighs> people again people come on and not, be, and not because they know that someone would have been abused me that they're gonna go ahead and continue abusing the person even more and some people do that and take advantage that's why it says only when it says you really trust that person then you could feel you can maybe isn't you're not obligated to but you can choose to share as well if it if it doesn't get over it fine no you know you don't you don't you really but sometimes it as we talk about health like when we asked you know the topic last time was how do you help heal a man it have women who are in the process of healing as well from abusive relationships all right right so, so he ended up finding out her and he used it against her yeah the family she knew said. everybody knew so i mean they i mean they basically they didn't they saw it as baggage i mean the, i don't find it it had i i don't know i don't even want to comment on this right now right so let's let's um because it's very it's a really really sad and unfortunate situation that it will just upset me even more so baggage let's lighten it back up um so okay so the darlene is saying 10 years of marriage going down the drain so she would have been married for 10 years and i'm sure she was maybe dating him for a little bit before that as well right so andy saying so sad i agree so we know baggage it has so much of baggage that both men and women can commit lisha mentioned the homosexuality and men could be a bisexual and all these different things do you consider someone's sexual orientation a baggage unless they are hiding it if they are not true with themselves and they are constantly trying to hide it, mm -hmm. constantly trying to deny it, it can become baggage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, because, yeah. I mean, when it is a hiding things, it affects you mentally. And because they're hiding, you can't function well. So it will affect the relationship when it is you're really trying to hide your sexual orientation or anything for that ma for that matter so once you're lying about anything in your relationship it will affect you and that is baggage mm -hmm. that in itself is baggage so be true to yourself and to others at the same time right really be yourself and if you can't be yourself around the person you're in a relationship with then don't make no sense really and truly it doesn't forcing to be someone else just trying to you know fit in i mean why go through all of that 
Why? Uh, yeah, man, why, leave why? the woman alone if why? you look from a baggage. I, leave I them alone. Yes, Lisa. Lisa? Yeah. Like, okay, like, okay, all of us are big, big women on this, on this, right? So, Sunali, all of us, right? If he was in a position, mm-hmm. would you go in a relationship like that? You? Was that trying to be somebody else? Or trying to be somebody else, Shimika? Would you if go in a re- that relationship like that? Relationship with, like, what that? With that person, with, um, what are you now saying, boy? No, I. What a person who is a bisexual? What do you mean, like the person who is hiding their sexual orientation? You're talking about? Yeah, yeah. They were asking Shimika if she will go into something like that. Well, first of all, I would know the person hiding their sexual orientation. But if it is, I know that the person is a bisexual. No, I wouldn't go into a relationship with a man who is a bisexual. Why not? You could change his mind. No, that no, no, ma'am. Thing. No, no, no. As I said, we are not going to be trying to change nobody, and I ain't going to be changing nobody. No, not, not, I, not, not I, like, oh, you have to change. I mean, don't my have, dad has to juice, you know what I mean? And decide, you know what but he's, where I want to be. No, but he's already a bi. He's already a bi. So he go, he must know if it is all he wants is a woman or all he wants is a man. And if it is he's bi and he made up his mind, it has no change in nothing. It have no change in you none. Can't change their preference. I'm, I but mean, that's I true. love you know one thing, and then after a while, I get a taste of something, and I change my mind like that instead. It happens. Oh, so okay. So as I say that, Abby. So if you get a taste of a man who has a disability, and he was saying, nah, I can't, and he get a taste, because they now say about preference, eh? I just refer him to what some of the things that you would have said. Mm-hmm. Do you think a preference can change? Of course it can change. Just like how I'm I used to like spawn older guys with younger girls. Ew, gross, no. But when you think about it, you don't know you know what they went through to get in that position. So if I sugar daddy come my way, whether disability or not. I'm, my preference might change for the older generation or younger. Okay. You know. Um, Lina saying, Abby, so how much sex for the week? You guys need to know. What should be question is that? <laughs> Lina, Lisa, Lisa is that a... <laughs> Who needs that information? First thing, first plan. <laughs> well, Abby, just now you sat on here with your back book. Was so fun, right? Daddy, I'll, I'll they don't, it don't I will let you all know when that time reaches. Change for you. <laughs> she tried that. Change she could go all out. Mm-hmm. Well, I am going in a relationship with someone who has AIDS right? and stay with them for a lifetime. No, he will not do that because it's a lifetime. He's going to have AIDS. Too, well, he and no, he's but he just like the person too. No, 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 Lisa, Come that is very soft. No, no, no. No, that I just ask. Everybody, everybody. No, but, no, but he everybody just said. Question. No, he just said that he will not get into, he said that he will not go into a relationship with someone who has an STD. That's one. And two, as Sonali was just saying, it in this day and age we have new technologies medications where hiv will not be passed on to your partner hiv will not be passed on to the child and you will so not like, death it all, you have it medication all boys, people it all once boys, it is they are joking. healthy yeah people who have hiv is not a death sentence okay it's not a death sentence there's medication once you take your medication you eat healthy as everybody else you exercise you're going to have a very nice, long, healthy life, right? Your immune system can be very much built up and everything will be fine. So it's no longer oh, that well, sentence, right. like long time people like, oh, no longer, I have thing. Would he still go with them? Yeah, will he still go with them? No, he said no. He said no. He already, he already said no. That don't make no sense. Well, but then then already already so my point is, um, Andy, single and done. 
No, it's a plenty of women out there without a city. You don't need to stay single. Why? Eh? <laughs> but you don't know who you don't know who have STD. In the main fact, you don't know who have STD or who have AIDS because nobody for them. Ma. I have it. I have had STD. No, that's I have why. Heard. I have you know. That's why you go and you get tested before you get into anything. That's why we have sexual STD tests. You go and do a full test. But there are what? the medication that they have now with the HIV. Hmm. Some of the testers are coming undetected. Exactly. And that person would always say, I know of the one as we speak. And she keep, has been they're so alive with years. And as the as the technology change with the meds. It, her test coming out it's undetected. Heavy. Right, because the medication is working and that, that's the point. If it is I can get rid of it totally, that would be great. Right, Dad? You say but once you're on a mess, you can't share it, but she's not taking that chance. She still has it, but it, it don't detect in a test. Right, she ain't taking that chance. That's it, you wouldn't know. Doesn't have have it enough to pass it on to you because she's he or she is on their men and they would not pass it on it's have Can ways things are different them. now but as the, but as the saying goes you don't have to get into you i mean it doesn't even matter on a regular day you will see somebody be like nah i'm not really i'm not attracted to them or not i, I really don't like whether you find the person too short too tall too thin too fat too whatever the hair not long enough the hair too they hear um too long whatever the case is everybody have their preferences being in a relationship with someone is a choice it really is right and i mean we can't tell nobody well get a person a chance now get them a chance right that is still up to the person and then you when you done you say get a person a chance and when you're done the person blame you for whatever happened and then no you see the only set up and the hook up you know setting up and hooking up nobody let them set up and hook up the own scene right so because i mean then you will then they have all of that baggage going into whatever next relationship you see no this girl hooked me up anyone no 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 we ain't going down that road right so let me say ladies here to submit love that's an evil word submit to what uh, sorry, Thank submit you. to who? Submit to what? I agree. <laughs> I agree. Submit to what, Shalan? Well, so let's help me out of that, eh? Because I don't find that as an evil word. <laughs> yeah, there's no when to. It, it depends on how you structure the question or the sentence that make it evil. So I want to know, submit to who or what? It all depends on what we're submitting to. Or who? Type quicker, Lion. Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Better than that, man. <laughs> come oh, on, man. Oh, man. Oh, God, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, and he's saying he's not taking that chance. Right? He's not taking that chance of being in a relationship with someone who has HIV. Right? Lion is saying handcuffs for all of you. I think that is his submission. He's talking about this, so I've been knowing you're not submitting at all. See, he ain't submitting. Why not submitting? Sonali <laughs> <handcuffs. laughs> <Sonali's laughs> is Sonali's definitely handcuffs. submitting. <laughs> Lisa, will you be submitting to the handcuffs? No, I'm not. I laugh. I laugh. It's just like Abby, too. <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing. So, all this scandal, let's. Things that be happening, you don't handcuffs to the scenario. I might be the one bringing the handcuffs, the ropes, the room, the tie, the handkerchief, the everything. Yeah, so, to do it to so him. Count me no, I want to know, Lisa. You see the bottom half? Leave me in my little box. <laughs> Leave me in my little box. I'm not going to bring weapons to you to torture me with. Are you mad? No. 
It's like bringing bullets to, to your gun to shoot me. No, you're yeah. not torturing Abby. It's not. It's not torture. Good night, Kavir. Good night. You bullet? Do you find I torture? I still wait on um, my candle. Um, Shane is saying no to... one will go with somebody who have HIV. I I beg to differ. I really beg to differ. That's not exactly true. It do Only have people if... who do get into relationship with yeah, persons who have if HIV. They don't know, if the other person don't know about it, then of course, I no man is gonna you know chat no, to a girl and no, no, no. first day yeah. you know I have AIDS. Could we still hook up? That ain't gonna work. Now, right in these days, people don't even reach to the stage of age, right? Remember, age, age, that's the real late stage. You really ain't going to live much. People don't really reach that stage anymore, right? But um, there are people who I know of, right, who they are in, in relation, they have HIV and they are in healthy relationship with us. Line is saying submission is important for a healthy relation. Submission. You submit that. Lion, you go can, and submit. Can you well agree with me today, Lion? Can you what you agreeing to? <laughs> Lion, you be the submit what you agreeing to. And submit to your woman. And see how that will go. I want to see if you're going to like it. <laughs> I'm sure Lion willingly submit. I am very yeah, sure Lion let us know. Hours, by all means, a I, couple hours. Yeah, I am now. sure he submits. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Mm, I don't believe that. Right? Lion, Lion, yeah, why? Lion is sure he submits. <laughs> why you don't believe he will submit? <laughs> mm-hmm. He don't look like he submits. I think, no, no, I Lion think don't look like he as he portrays himself to be the alpha, he will always stay the alpha. I don't think he is going to submit, whether in public or in private. I think he would. No, you see, that's what that's where we see that submissive is a bad word. Alphas can submit, <laughs> eh? Right. Of course they can. I say no. I mean, you have to please a woman somehow. Give she a little leave. Um. No. Abby, this is for you here. What gender rules must be realized? Not only I see this gender rules things. Nah, we let us not go down that road. Right. So. <laughs> and Abby, and they say nothing for the handcuffs on you. You'll have to sedate me first, Andy. <laughs> Why here to go to all that? Have a fight. Why? Say, so, see, no, Abby is not submitting. Yeah, <sighs> I don't think I'll be. Abby, a quick question. As outside of all of this, you ever, Abby, you ever cross a, a picket fence? Because the what? way you talk, I just need to ask, do you ever cross a picket fence? You know, a picket fence when they um, when they marching, laborers and then um, public servants marching and all that. Do you ever cross a picket fence? You ever bust through from when they or so? No. Nope. All right, that's why. That's why you're waiting for a handcuffs on. Just, just out of curiosity. <laughs> it's just out of curiosity. I don't understand why you win why you win submits. We go, go back. We go, go back to go back to regular schedule. Back to regular. All right. So Lion is saying all who knows him know what he likes. All who knows him knows what he likes, and who don't don't like it. Huh? You need how the people I'm gonna know is if they get a chance to know. You allow them to know. If I don't know then I don't know. You, you know what, Daddy? You're saying men use the words. Mm. I agree. I agree with her. Definitely. That's just my opinion. I think... And what... 
Abby do it. Abby, why, why, why do you say so hundred percent accurate? Why use the word? Personally, why you believe to... in that statement? That's what men use. Um, Shane is saying, well, if they both party have AIDS, no one can give the other one because they what? have no choice. Well, if you have AIDS and I have AIDS and mm. we decide to come together, mm -hmm. well, yeah, because we're not we're yes, in the same boat, basically. Yes, stop. Because is that. we need to anyway. December is the month of HIV. It's have people who get who don't have HIV that get into relationships with persons who have HIV. Wow, right? I wish them all the best. Happy long relationship oh. to them both. Boy. Line is saying, do you have to submit, like it or not? <laughs> have Andy to, he's saying that. Me, have yeah, you have to submit, like it or not. What Andy saying there, boy? Yeah. Me and my big brother love to get handcuffed. <laughs> so, Abby, yeah. Andy saying he don't mind being handcuffed, okay? He don't no, mind he being don't handcuffed. Mind. Yeah. All right. All right. You don't mind. All right. Sorry. So, yeah. some may say men have more baggage. Some may say women have more baggage. I mean, everybody comes with some a certain amount. Some more than other. We really can't say for women, we really have more, women have more. Right, because there are so many men different. Men. It might have a wall. She might come with more. Oh, sorry, to me. All right. Quickly, I think men have more only because they will. They could hide it and then gradually come out piece by piece. So one minute, oh, this woman or oh, this child, then the next child, one after the next, is come and pile up. Our woman now, you see now our baggage, and because you know we have baggage. You know there's problems behind. So why get yourself involved? Well, it's, it could be the same amount of baggage. So that, well, that will make it different. Whether it's seen or not seen, it's still baggage and it could still be the same amount. Seen or unseen. It's still baggage. No, well, I rather so see we really your can't baggage and make a say, decision than to make a decision without knowing and then gradually finding out later down in the relationship. I rather that. I rather see a baggage now, so I could decide whether to jump in or not. Oh. So if it is the man, the man have you know that because one of the examples we have are the children, right? If it is the man has equal amount of children as you, would you get into a relationship with him? Once he laid the cards on the table. And another question. So Lion is saying, if you don't, you can move on no love lost no love found right so next question so i mean women always talk about if have people who say you shouldn't even get some people say don't get in a relationship with someone who already has children and you don't have any right all those things are choice right but what i find is that they are women they will have they will have children right but they may they 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 say I don't want a man with no um set of children and they have a lot of children too. That is double standard thing. So or if of it course. is the, if it is a man who tell you that he don't have children, are you minding the children? So okay, once and every man have children, are you minding the children? Are you helping take care of them? That is my question. That's what what is the reason? What no? But what is the reason for knowing? If the man has children or not. Well, I have to know. I just I don't Why? want one day this woman come from nowhere and dumb three, four kids in my door and I'm like, What what's going on? Let me know what you have out there that may affect what's going on in here. Come, so I have like, to come know. Straight. 
Okay, exactly. so your reason for knowing is in the event that the child mother decides, okay, I'm friend. dropping off the children at your home, yeah. then okay, no problem. And All right, really, okay. Stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> for me personally, that won't bother me. It will bother me to the fact to come and find out you weren't taking care of them. Hmm. If you drop them off and the knowledge is known that you were taking care of them, even if you didn't tell me, okay. But if it is for a fact it comes out and it say you was not taking care of them children at all at all, despite the fact you knew you had children and you hide it, we're going to have And you're lying. And my that, point, and you're lying. And you're lying on top of and that you didn't have children. But it will hurt me to know you can stand up and take care of your children. It will hurt me. If she come and she well, just drop he, them off. Well, if he's doing it, yeah. No, Sorry. but for me, if she comes and drop them off, okay, boom. You never told me I had children. But I'm for me knowing my crazy self, I got toned down knowing for a fact, yeah. At least he was taking care of them. He didn't tell me up front, maybe it, maybe he had his reasons, but at least he was taking care of them. Then I'll be like, okay, well, now we have extra mouse of feet. We can move from um, there. Hmm. So, Lana is saying some of them need help to see about this. Some women home working, no way. Right? And that, that, that's true. Um, yeah, because then we but have, it, wait, 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 wait. But it has then some children Janine who is saying, Just now, Alisa, let's read the comments. So, I had children before marriage and my husband had none. And the, then they had two additional children together. All right. We will have here what we will have to have a topic on um this next time. So Andy, I agree with Abby. We all need to know who have children. Now, some people may say women can't hide their children that but they are women who do hide the amount of children that they have. It have it have so much things. It have men who may not even trust to go with a woman who had an abortion, right? So that is another baggage too. Just saying. Why would I? Yeah. Why would I even reveal that information? Ah, <laughs> uh, so why the man read it? Yes, it's that that man will want to know because here's what the abortion can affect that man. Here's how you may not be able to have children anymore, and that man may want to have a child with you, and because you had an abortion previously, it is affecting the man. So yes. In in a case in a sense, then he needs to know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I wouldn't reveal that. You wouldn't but reveal then that. Then it could affect the man. I so when it says so, so, let us say, let us say you are you all are trying to have children, and then he real oh shoot, I cannot have children because of the abortion. Or mm. he could say then you've what? Been ab- been aborted, yes. So, so we will leave. Let I hear that. So I mean. Okay. Right, you're right. So we will we, next week we will have another, you know, a topic, right? So we really can't say men have more baggage or women have more baggage. We can both have equal amounts of baggage, and it won't. I think it comes with age as well. The younger the, you are, the less likely you will have a lot of baggage. Yeah. So people, we will see you all next week. Rest up. And we out. It was nice.